The inspiration behind our vehicle design, it looks a lot like the current platforms people use in the field now for detecting mines. Our goal was to make something that achieve the same capability at a much lower price point. The most challenging part of the process has been trying to come up with a functionality that isn't currently out there. The fleet could use this vehicle to uncover IEDs and potentially save lives. Ex department, I look forward to reading your white paper on how to build a vehicle. Meanwhile, I'll be out testing mine, okay? The inspiration behind our vehicle design is currently fielded Marine Corps equipment, which E-Department works on heavily. One of the advantages we have over the other vehicles is that we have earned the Marine Corps TAN, working with previous Marine Corps projects. Well, this is something that we do, this is our swim lane, so for expeditionary warfare, you guys don't stand a chance. The way that our vehicle can be used in practical fleet applications is by utilizing the uh, sensor technologies and the localization technologies that we use. A lot of those aspects will be able to transition to some of the active uh, projects that we're working on right now. The most challenging part of the process is designing a platform within a year. Going from the very beginning designs to a final end product, um, it's been really challenging on this time schedule. Last year we won the competition. All we're out for this year is to show you we're not a bunch of bookworms, we're just going to completely dominate out there. So this is really focused on rapid prototyping, kind of the early phases of development where we're experimenting, we're coming back, we're working on the design.
We believe that our Reaper system is ready to enter the EMD phase of acquisition. We believe that our system has a TRL of level six, and uh, we believe that all in all, we have a low life cycle cost solution that can really add a capability to the warfighter. When we, were, when we were making decisions about this, it was all about how do we keep this compact, how do we keep it robust and reliable, and part of that was just simple, keeping everything you know, tightly packaged together and not having these different pieces hanging off, hanging off the robot. So at least that, that's one thing that I, I really, I think as a team we really pushed to is, is make it a nice, compact, easy to deploy system. Right, let's go. It's time to rumble. All right. So we're going to start with third place team. Team Dingo from X Department. Next up, we've got Team Badger. Code A. Ooh. From E Department, Team Reapers. Three, two, two. One, go. I don't want to be bad with you. How about that? So, what do you think the third? Well. Initially, I was pretty amazed just, uh, you know, based on the operating budget um, that every team had, what they were able to do with $15,000. I think uh, each one of these robots has its merits. The idea of having a, a robot uh, that someone is controlling, and we showed here that not only can they detect the targets, but they can uh, also identify them and neutralize them. And uh, that's something that uh, maybe we can get out there in the uh, in, in the uh, in the fairly near term soon, and apparently cheap. So Ed, let's get to it. <laughs> I think the innovation that we saw today is really nice. Nice to see what you can do with short money. Uh, when you don't have a lot of money, you have to really start thinking. I think the teams really showed that today, so congratulations to all the teams. The winner of the 2017 Director's Cup goes to Department A. Because that's what it's all about, right? It's, it's about uh, supporting the warfighters and uh, getting them better products in their hands. And, uh, uh, and so um, that's what makes uh, today so uh, worthwhile.